All right, we're back. We are in the Commercial Space Operations Center, or the ComSpoc. The ComSpoc has a global network of sensors, and they watch everything that's up in space, and they do orbit determination on it, and they figure out what it's doing. They can see when things maneuver, and they also keep track of when things get too close to each other. So with me here is Bob Hall. Bob is the Director of Operations of the ComSpoc, and Bob's going to go into a little bit about something he's seen recently about a satellite up at GEO. Bob? Thanks, Josh. Yeah, so um, one of the things about geo satellites, geosynchronous satellites, is they all uh, remain relatively fixed with respect to the, to the Earth. They go around the Earth the same rate that the Earth turns, so they appear to be fixed. Uh, and in watching uh, that population, as we do all the time, uh, we noticed about a week and a half ago there was a satellite that uh, kind of left home. It, it started to drift relative to where it should have been staying. Uh, and at the same time as it was drifting, we could tell that it also was no longer stable. Uh, there's a way that the, the satellites uh, are supposed to remain relatively in a fixed attitude with respect to the Earth because they're communication satellites and the antennas have to point at the Earth while the solar rays turn. So they present a very uh, repeatable signature that we can identify. And this particular satellite, Intelsat 29E, uh, began to drift out of its box at the same time it was not stable. And so that was uh, pretty interesting. It, had bore all the signatures of, of a spacecraft anomaly. And we watched it, and we watched how over the, the succeeding days, the relative drift rate, in other words, the number of longitude degrees per day it was moving away from home, so to speak, was increasing ever so slightly with time, as was the tumble rate of the satellites. Both of them are not, not good things you want to see. That They would both suggest that there's some force continuing to act on the satellite throughout that entire time frame. And so that was um, about a week and a half ago, and I believe last week mm -hmm. Intelsat uh, announced that they had a problem, and I, I think once again yesterday they, they put out a, a press release that uh, said that they basically the, uh, the satellite is not recoverable. So as you see, this starts uh, right around the time of the anomaly, anomaly. There's a little box there in the middle, which is where Intelsat 29E lived, so to speak. Those other boxes represent homes of other satellites, that some of them are quite big because some geosatellites are inclined. Uh, you can s sort of see the small boxes. And the anomaly happens and this starts to drift. And it, as we draw the path, you'll see the path uh, start to kind of walk along the geo belt. And so we're showing you the first, um, give or take, 14 days of drift here. So that orange line is the orbit being drawn with respect to the Earth. Right, so and, and you'll see it gets a little bit longer each day until it kind of stabilizes. Uh, and you'll see that several times as it, as it, as it loops around, it, it just happens to be in between other active geos. That's just serendipitous. I'm sure as, as this continues over time, sooner or later there will be conjunctions that need to be mitigated. Now again, this, this is not the first time this happened. Um, we, we, we saw one a few months ago uh, in the Asian theater where the satellite just stopped working. It didn't spin up like this, mm. but, but it eventually it started to tumble. They just lost contact with it. Uh, so it, it does happen from time to time, and, and as we watch this thing walk along the geo belt now, I'm sure we're going to start to see conjunctions with active satellites, and, and we'll have to work with those operators to warn them and make sure that they can move their satellites out of the way so as to uh, minimize any collision risk. So you haven't seen any conjunctions yet? Right. We've not seen any conjunctions that are, are worth addressing at this point. There's been a few that are 40-odd kilometers away from something. But in, at GEO, that's, that's generally not actionable. That's far, say far enough away that it's generally not a concern. Thank you very much, Bob. Look forward to hearing from you in the future as you continue to monitor this and all the other satellites and Space Junk up there.